Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of The Road to Glory here on FIFA 19 Ultimate Team. This is episode number eight. Eight days in a row. We're actually doing something here, guys. Uh, and today's episode is a bit of a banger. We we, we do all right in today's video. So uh, both teams are going to see a bit of a change. This one, not so much, but one brilliant player coming in. Uh, and then the other team is going to completely and utterly change. So... Continue with that amazing support if you could smash a thumbs up on the video right at the start here That would mean the world to me. Let's try and get over 3,000 likes once again. That would be awesome and final plug uh, I do still have a FIFA 19 giveaway going uh, going on, on on my Twitter. I'll leave a link to the tweet down below uh, You can win one of five copies of FIFA 19. Thanks to EA Sports for letting me give them away uh, So yeah, get involved. Why not? Hey, um, so I'm gonna start the episode off by actually selling a couple of players So we sold Sanson and Ndombele and also Cabela Now I really didn't want to let go of Ndombele because I loved him I thought it was incredible for me, but I needed to free some coins up so that I could do an SBC to Today's episode actually doesn't have any gameplay in it whatsoever. Uh, I've got to where I want in Rivals for this week. I've got to the rank 3 or whatever that I wanted to get those rewards. And, uh, well, I haven't, I haven't, I just haven't gone into squad battles actually this week so far. I need to catch up on that. Uh, but I wanted to move on into to, to some SBCs. And I'm going to be doing the Hybrid Nations SBC today um, because I figured... That we could probably profit from it. The packs look pretty good that you get. It's one of the advanced SBCs, so it's not necessarily going to be the easiest thing in the world, but you can kind of copy the squads that I've got. I I put some teams together and then modified them as I went to maybe fill them with players that I've already got in my club, for instance, that I already had like loyalty on. So some of the players here have helped me get over that 80 chem because I do have loyalty on them. So bear that in mind when you're building. If you just went out and bought every single one of these players, it wouldn't necessarily work out for you. But you can see the rough idea of what I've got going, like a triangle of chem in the middle, uh, some, some strong links over on the right down to the right midfield, and then a couple of leagues with a couple of nations in defense and, uh, and goalkeeper. So so that's roughly what I went with for quads and I felt like I needed to open the, the reward pack now to actually get some coins together um, so that I could continue doing the SBC because I knew they were going to get a little bit more expensive. We don't get boards or anything. We get, uh, what's his name? Is it is it Gator? Gwater? Gaita? I'm not sure. However you pronounce that name, let me know down below in the comment section. Um, but we, we, we get like a whole bunch of players. Three of them are rare. We get a duplicate Areola at the end there, which is someone we've already got in our club. I know he sells for like 800, 850, 900 coins, something like that. Everything's going on the transfer list because I will. I need to sell them. I want to get as many coins for them as I can so that I can actually continue doing the SBC. Uh, I also sold Schmeichel and Bonaventura, which were players that I was keeping They'd risen a little bit since when I actually packed them in in, in a couple of episodes ago. Uh, so I figured, yeah, why not? I'll just sell them. They may go up more. I'm, but I, if I can, if I can have coins now, I can make more coins from from doing SBCs and stuff. So that was my like thought process behind it. Uh, I've gone out and bought a few players here. I I kind of stuck with like a bit of a Premier League route because. Although people might say that that's a really stupid idea uh, and Prem's so popular that all the player prices are inflated and stuff. Well, actually, for some of the non-rares, it's kind of easy to make chemistry work. And also, they're not actually that... <laughs> They're not that expensive, really. Like, I, I've been picking up, uh, who was it? Like, Johansson for 400 coins. You can't really get much cheaper than that. Literally, 350 is the cheapest uh, non-rare gold you can buy. So, it's not like I was paying way, way, way over the odds. But I am using the bronze players that I've got in my club to get me chemistry advantages. It means that I don't necessarily have to build, uh, like, um, a complete squad which has, like, perfect links. I can use strong links because, well, a couple of my players have already got a loyalty plus one on the chemistry for each other so that's really really useful so uh recommend doing bronze pack method because when you eventually do build sbcs which have bronze players in it as well you can uh, you can actually get it done without having to to use certain expensive players that definitely get inflated on the market as soon as they go on the websites where people are building sbcs then yeah that's obviously the case um so for this next one, I went down the Serie A route just because I already had like three Serie A players in my club that were different nations. I, I figured, well, if I build a whole Serie A team, um, then it will be good. You know, I'll, I'll, 
Uh, I can make it that I have different nations and stuff, and uh, I just had to figure it out towards the end, like which players I was buying uh, to make sure that I had enough nations in there because I needed exactly eight, but I could only have two from the same. So, um, yeah, Lafont was someone I already had, and so was the right centre back and also my left back, which was Ricardo Rodriguez, I believe it is. Um, come on, Lasty, get off Lafont and move through the team. There we go. So you can see what I paid for each player well, or whether or not I had them untradeable in my club already. Um, not too bad, like a lot of them players were really like 100 or 200 coins over their discard value, so that's not that's not super overpaying in my opinion, and we get a prime gold players pack for that, I'll definitely take it. Um, so, and we've actually got 9k coins left, and I figured I could probably just about do the National Pride SBC, which is the, the final one, the toughest one, I guess people would say, uh, and that would complete the whole block of SBCs for us, giving us an actual overall reward pack as well, uh, and I hoped that I could do it for around the 9k um, that it... I think it was going to cost, you know, under a thousand coin average per player, right? So I pick up the first few for under a thousand coins. That's brilliant. I know there's going to be a couple that are 400, but I also know there's going to be a couple of players that are over a thousand coins. So just hoping that I didn't go, you know, I'd need to go and sell some more stuff or I'd need to open one of the reward packs to, to get a little bit of cash flow going again with my coins. Uh, but we were actually able to do it. Maybe a couple of things sold in the background whilst I was doing this, uh, but we were able to. To, to get this squad for around the 9,000 coin mark or 8.8k or something I think I worked it out to be. Uh, this was one of the more expensive players. Is it Hisage or Hisage? He say I, I don't know how you pronounce that name. Uh, and then a final player there. We also needed to buy a left back to left wing back because I was actually able to complete this SBC without doing loyalty, um, which is it takes a lot of time and is a pain in the ass if you don't have the players in the club. Uh, just by getting like using the Napoli players uh, to get you know nice chemistry links to each other and stuff. That means a couple of them are actually on ten chem as opposed to nine chem. Uh, and Napoli's a team which obviously has a lot of players who get a strong link with each other because they play for the same club, but they're all different nations, which is exactly what you need for this final one. Uh, and then Mar Mario Rui uh, just needed to be in the correct position to go from 8 chem to 9 chem, and that pushed me up to 100 overall. So that's tidy, and that really didn't cost that much either, which is fantastic. Um, and overall completed that one for a mega pack, but we complete the entire block of SBCs. The entire Hybrid Nations Challenge is now... Complete wherever it is on screen. I, I'm guessing it's going to be like up there. Up, I can't remember which way would be which. You know, face cams in the in the bottom corner. I can't remember which where, where it would be. Anyway, um, so we still have a thousand coins, just about, and some things have sold in the background there from that very first reward pack that was vital for us to open that in order to continue. Uh, but now we do have four four packs: a premium gold pack, prime gold players, a mega pack, and a rare mega pack. So. The very first one drops in, and you can see by the the tile along the bottom that actually it isn't going to be an 86 rated walkout or anything. Um, and then when the boards don't fall, you realize, okay, it's not the greatest pack in the world. Uh, but we get, is it John Anthony Brooks? I'm not sure if those are the first two, like the names are correct, but it's definitely Brooks. Uh, Roger, Aritz, Jose Mota. Uh, some some things that I can sell on the market and, and the consumables I'll keep in the club. I'll find them useful to use, being a Road to Glory account, of course. Prime Gold Players pack next, I decided to open this it's not going to be an 86, uh, 86 rated walkout but it is a board and we get french striker arsenal yes lads we get ourselves alexander lacazette 84 rated premier league striker people are raving about him as well because the pace not being such an issue on the game this year that right there is like a 20 22k player right now that's huge. That has profited from this entire SBC. And that's exactly what you hope for when you do an SBC like this. I think that we have, uh, if we get absolutely nothing else, we would profit from this SBC with the way that I've done it, using untradeable stuff from my club and stuff. Uh, and just selling whatever you get in the reward packs, even if they're not great pools. Uh, we don't get boards in the next one, which is a mega pack. 35k pack, no boards. But we do get Gelson Martins, who's someone which... Um, Sells for over discard, you know, somewhere between, 
I can't, believe, can't remember if it was 1.8 or 2.8k. We get Ziyech, we get Auric, we get Stark. Some non-rare players which are useful for SBCs. And people are paying quite a lot of coinage for them as well. Uh, and a whole heap of, uh, of course, consumables. Because it is a mega pack. Like loads and loads of items in that one. Uh, position modifiers, healing cards, couple kits. I think I get rid of the Poland one and sell the Spurs one for a little bit. And then the rare mega pack. We don't get a walkout. And we don't get boards either. I feel like that's crazy to get an 81 overall as my highest rated player in a 55k pack. We've been screwed out of it, to be honest. But... How can I complain after getting Lacazette in one of my other packs? So uh, I knew that no matter what, like we'd profited because of getting Lacazette. Uh, and I'm unsure what to do with him as well. But when I do go into this pack, I realize it's not as bad as I uh, first thought. Because I see Davies, I see Smalling, Delph, Bernard. Uh, I know that Gaia and Ocampos both sell for a lot. I get Claude Puert. Puel, Puel, I still don't know how to pronounce his name, who I know sells for like four, four and a half thousand coins, because for some reason French managers are super expensive right now, there's a little tip, I put it on my Twitter yesterday, you could have made loads of money uh, if you had the French managers in your club, I'm sure it probably still works right now as well, uh, but this is the bit which, in yesterday's episode, it was top comment for a while, uh, and it probably still is, buy Depay lasty, you can fit him in your team, um, so I want to buy Depay. So I needed to sell a whole bunch of this stuff. And, and as you can see, we've not sold Lacazette here, boys. We've sold a lot of the stuff that we got from these reward packs, but not Lacazette. And we're up to 29,000 coins. And I've still got a bunch of players that I've just, I was waiting to see whether or not I should sell, shouldn't sell. Um, so I can go and buy Depay. Now they upped his price cap. He was extinct at 20k, but they upped his price cap. And would you believe it? He actually comes a little bit under 20k now. As you can see, I pick one up for 19.5k. So that's brilliant. And we can bring Memphis Depay into the road to glory. Um, this squad is now sick. It's got Rabio. It's got Condogbia. Promes, Tovan, Depay, like what a team, we've not spent a penny, and we've got a really, really nice squad right now, uh, and that's that's without selling Lacazette, so like I've still got 20 odd K coins sat there, right, uh, which is fantastic, now you guys also let me know that I could buy Pavlenka, who's a massive goalkeeper at like 6 foot 5, and he has save with feet trait, which is important, and because in my French team I'm using two Bundesliga centre backs, I don't have to have a French goalkeeper, so Ariola, the non-rare, goes, and we bring in uh, Pavlenka. So thanks again for the recommendation there. I am reading your comments, and I am trying to to cater the RTG based on what you're what, on the feedback that you're giving me. Uh, so then this squad right here. I felt it was in need of a little bit of a change. Uh, I had an idea that this squad is what I wanted. So I wanted to keep the core with like the Chinese Super League players. But I also kind of wanted to bring in like Zerdan Shakiri uh, and a couple of other guys. Like, I wanted like a bit of a Swiss thing going on. So that's exactly what I, I went for. Now, uh, Shakiri cost me 4.3k. I sniped him. Uh, I think he was going for like 4.5, so I wasn't really getting a massive deal on it, but still managed to get a, a popular Premier League winger for that price. I then pick up Kevin Vogt, who actually always looks like a complete animal on FIFA. Uh, definitely does so again this year, and his perfect link is Bauman, who's an 83 rated player, going for 950 coins. You can't complain there, can you? And then I decided in the end, like you might have seen in that concept squad, that I was going to go for Vinicius Jr., who I've been really enjoying lately. Um, but after looking Looking at Tyson's stats, I just needed a left a left sided player who was Brazilian. Uh, I've decided to go for Tyson. He's higher rated, and I I believe the stats look better. He's got less skill moves and a worse weak foot, but I I hope that he's maybe good. So I'm gonna try it with him for a little bit, and then of course we could switch it for Vinicius Junior if uh, if I'm not getting on with Tyson. So this is the new squad. Uh, Shakiri will be the only player off chemistry here uh, because I mean he's gonna be on six or seven chem if I can get the right manager and stuff in there and then eight chem once I get loyalty on him as well uh, figured that that would be a, a decent route for me to go down because I already had Mbabu untradeable who looks like a good starter right back uh, I had Zakaria I had Akanji as well um, now I don't know if I made a mistake here I I went to to go and I bought a new Zakaria because he was at center mid and I didn't want to like change position on him again and then I sold the CDM one for I don't know I think 1600 coins or something because his price had gone down so 
I'm net up like 500 coins and I have the player in the correct position, but I don't know if that was a bit of a mistake, if I sold him for a bit too cheap or not. Uh, it just seemed to be what he was going for on the market at the time. Uh, and as you can see, I just wanted to show you, once I got rid of a lot of the stuff from the transfer list, I put some of it back in my club, including Lacazette, and then some stuff I did put up to sell, and as you can see, some of it has sold. So, uh, yeah, we've, we've still got some stuff. I believe those six things will all sell as well uh, and bring us up to sort of 9K, I guess, by the start of the next episode. But then this is where we're at. This is the team right here. Uh, it's it will change to a, a four one two one two in game, uh, and and I'll show you that at the very start of the next episode and stuff. Uh, and then this will also change to four one two two as well. But we've got two sick teams now. Really, really happy with how the squads are looking. Uh, I feel like we might be able to actually compete and do well and like play with these players. I'm so excited to get into some gameplay in the next episode. Um, I might leave it again, it might, ugh, I don't know if it'll be another SBC episode next or not, because I'm waiting now, I'm just waiting for the next week of, of, of Foot Rivals to begin, which, as you're watching this, of course, the new competition will begin, so yes, I'll be able to play, uh, and, and in tomorrow's episode is when hopefully you'll see my Foot uh, Division Rivals rewards, uh, but it might be on Saturday, I'm not sure how far ahead of this series I need to get, so uh, yeah, we will get Foot Division Rivals rewards on a Thursday morning, so as you're watching this, if you played Rivals last week, you should have some rewards in your account, whether it's when you get home from school. Go on your account, have a check, see what you've got, uh, and, and choose wisely. I still don't know what to do. I don't know if picking coins is boring, or if it's a smart choice, or whether I should just risk it and get packs, because it's a road to glory and it's fun. I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll have to make that decision. Uh, and I'll, I'll, again, I'll check yesterday's video comments, which is where I mentioned it a lot, uh, to see what you guys... Thought, uh, thought the most would be that would be the best decision and stuff. Anyway, I'm rambling now. We've come towards the end of the episode, guys. If you have enjoyed, you know what I want you to do. Keep supporting the videos by smashing that thumbs up. It means the world to me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Have a lovely day. Check out the Twitter giveaway down below. Thanks for all of the new followers over there. We're so close to 100,000. I'm buzzing. Have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.